So the next topic is very interesting one, which allows our app to become more usable for international audience. Many countries are not native English speakers. You may be working in a project where your customer belongs to a country which doesn't speak English and English might be their second or third language. So you have to design your app in the language customer is comfortable with. In that case, the concept of internationalization and localization is going to be used in your UI5 application. So for example, if you are working on an application and customers of that application can be from different part of the world, let's assume that your customer can be in US, in Germany and in China. So these three countries are where your customer will be using your application. So you have to make your application compatible with all these three countries. So in US, when you're opening the application, you have to show all the standard text in English. In Germany, you have to show in German language and in China, you have to show all the text in Mandarin. Now what we are going to do, we are going to have a i18n properties file, which contains all the text which are going to be translated in that language. For example, for US customers, it will be English, for German customer, it will be German and for Chinese customer, it will be Mandarin. So the first step will be to get the local language. So you have this function sap.ui.getcore, get configuration, get language, which will give you the local language of your application in which it is running. And once you get the local language, then accordingly, you can set appropriate property file. And after that, we use the normal binding. So we are going to create a model called i18n and bind it to our core. And all the standard text like hello, click here, will be replaced by this model. So whatever you are having as a generic text in your application or standard text should be placed in your properties file. And your properties file will be picking those up depending upon which region your application is running. So now let's go to Eclipse and start developing a simple application which follows this concept. So now I'm inside my Eclipse, I will be creating a new project and it's going to be application project. And let me name it i18n demo. So let me name the view controller as demo as well. And let me make it readable. And we have a page, I'm going to add a simple button and OPTN equal to new SAP dot M dot button. And the text, we are not going to do any hard coding here, we are going to say I 18 I 18 N and the key will be greet and we are going to give a title here, i18n example. Now i18n here stands for internationalization. So therefore we are using this keyword and all the properties file will be containing i89 prefix as well. So you understand in your program that these files are for localization concepts. So we are also going to create those files. Let's create those files. First of all, we have to create a folder here and we are going to name the folder as i18n and, and then we are going to create files and uh, i18n dot, dot properties I'm going to copy this name and uh, I'm going to hit finish Similarly, we have to create two more files for our German and Mandarin language. So this will be underscore DE. And now we have to create the final file. And the name will be different. CH. And uh, inside our property file, we have to 
write the property name here greet and uh, greet in English will be hello for English audience and for German audience it will be hello and for people from China we will be using our Google Translator and I will be mentioning hello and what it sounds and I'm going to copy this text here and in Eclipse I will paste that and you can see it got pasted in uh, Unicode characters here so if you want to see more about this character then you can also press F2 or click here in the suggestion box but for now we have created uh, three different files which represent the text hello in different languages so now we have to get the location of the application and bind the generic text so to do that we need to get the location as location we will be using sap dot ui dot get core dot get configuration and then uh, get language Now the next step will be to get the i18n file path name and we are going to give the folder name which is this one i18n and uh, all the file prefix are i18n and uh, depending upon the location we are going to add underscore ch or underscore de or nothing if they are from an English speaking nation. So what we are going to do so now we are going to check if our s location is equal to de underscore de which will be the code for germany and i will append the path with underscore de dot property So this is the name of the file and um, I will do same thing for China as well and the code for China is ZH ZH and HANS so if you are wondering how I'm able to get all these codes for different regions then uh, the URL which is shown below will have a list of all the regions with their code. So you can use this list if you are having your customers in some different countries like Australia or maybe Poland or maybe Norway and it will be the same concept applied there as well. And for China I will be copying this name here and instead of DE it will be CH and uh, to so write the final if and it will be just i18n dot properties so we got all the file name now what we are going to do we are going to create a model o i18n model and we are going to use sap dot ui dot model dot resource dot resource model And here we are going to provide the path. Path is given to the property name called bundle URL. URL and it is i18n path. Very good. Now we have uh, to just set our core to this model. cpui.getcore, same code which we are 
using from pass many different sections set model and we are going to set this object and uh, with the name as i in n so so it seems like all the things are done properly let's also check our view if we have done everything correctly i18n setting the model name as i18n and um, in our ch file as well we have different versions so if we run this application then we will see simple button showing hello and that's what we are going to get and uh, if i might have opened this application in uh, germany or in china i would have seen in a different way so now if you also want to test this uh, application of how it will behave if uh, the application is open in uh, china then um, you can have this sap ui language keyword in your url so this is the extra properties which you need to pass with your url sap ui language and uh, the value should be equal to zh hands for china and this concept is very important when you have your customer in different geographical regions which are not english speaking and uh, many times you have to maintain a translation in your program so all the standard text like submit press here hello these all messages should be written in i18 file and you should have a model of i18n file which will then be utilized by all the places where they are writing generic text so this concept is very important and often overlooked which can be costly at the last moment.